I'm going to talk about a real world use case that is uh, addressing, uh, in a simple way, a very large scale event based use case. And we're talking about a cyber security use case. Um, economy pays more than $400 billion every year uh, because of uh, cyber security threats. Uh, in average, organization takes it takes them more than 220 days to understand that they were breached and to do something about it. That's the average. That means that some organization it takes two years to understand that. In order to locate these things faster and in real time, you need to work on very large data sets. So what we did uh, in general with, uh, with one of the largest um, telco companies across the world, we helped them uh, extend the way they can look about cyber security data uh, with deep insights into these log data. We are talking about data that comes from activities in users inside organization. And if you can locate the anomalies within these activities early enough, you can avoid cyber breach. So in this case, uh, well, the leader, the, the leading provider uh, for organizations in this scale is uh, HPE ArcSight, which collects all the data coming from the user activity. And uh, he has some issues with scaling data, large data sets, and understanding uh, uh, cyber bridge that goes back with a few events. What we did in a very simple way, we actually uh, added Scream into, uh, into the solution of HPE and extended uh, the capabilities of Arcsi to much larger scale, both in time frames, they can look at a year back instead of one month back or one day back of users' events, and they can also uh, search much faster the anomalies that we were mentioning earlier, right? So instead of looking only on stuff that happened in the last week or, or months, they can look a year back on much larger scale and faster. One of the key challenges uh, around extending the capabilities of uh, the solutions inside organization is, uh, is cost. Cost and complexity, right? It costs a lot of money to extend storage and to extend servers and to put more people that understand how to use these uh, data sets. And when you use Scream or something like Scream, you actually save all that cost. You can just extend the capability of the, the solution you have for much larger data sets, much faster. So the general stuff that we did there after uh, integrating with ArcSight is, so we collected the data from ArcSight in a much uh, faster manner, in a much larger scale. Uh, we stored it and analyzed it, and of course, uh, did the visualization uh, with the standard tool for the users. We didn't use data scientists for that. We didn't use a huge project of 20,000 man hours in order to implement that. That was a simple thing, straightforward, uh, to be done by the current users of this customer. So how do we do that? Scream is a database that is running on GPUs. Uh, a GPU is a graphical processing unit with thousands of cores. And we are taking advantage of this capability in order to ingest and analyze much more data. In addition to that, when we collect the data, we collect a lot of metadata on the data. So the search are simple, and there's no, no, no need to create um, special indexes, cubicles, materials views, and all the other tricks that needed to be done by specialized people in order to do that. And of course, because it's in SQL and because it's just extending the current solution, the implementation is pretty fast and the users are working in the same way they used to work. So that's, that's actually enable you to bring fast successes with new technologies without 
bringing more uh, more knowledge into the organization. This is the general architecture of the system. You can see that um, the sources of the data are users' activities, mainly inside the organization, and it's actually outside that is doing all that. What we did in order to extend the power of ArcSight, we extended the database to that. So we used the standard connectivity tool of ArcSight, what they call Smart Connector. That's the only thing we did integration-wise, and that enabled them to work on much larger data sets uh, with the same technology stack they use. And the results are, um, are pretty nice. So before extending ArcSight with Cream, they could query uh, one day back in about 40 seconds, and uh, I don't know, something like 13, 13 minutes uh, going back a month. They couldn't go and analyze users' activities for the last year. And I wanted to uh, emphasize why this is important. Today, cybersecurity bridges and cybersecurity threats are not based from one attack. It is based and comprised from multitude of, of events. Usually, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a, let's say, um, not a simple uh, cyber attack, it is uh, spread across a year and six months. So in order to understand that you've been breached, you need to look at data that is much more than the last week or right now. You need to look way behind on, on, on the abnormalities. And together with Scream, they could search much faster. It could be 10x, 10, uh, and also x 100 more uh, faster queries. But they could also search in less than uh, half a minute. They could search all the events of all the users of this organization for the last year. And this was not possible before. And that enabled, us, enabled them to, uh, to find much more, much more uh, cyber threats than they used to. You can also see on the standard graph, this is the same graph that they used before and after. Using Scream, you can see uh, that they, can, they are actually running on much, much larger time frame, and they are actually using less, less human resources in order to achieve that. And the most important thing for them is what you see in the after, that you can go all the way a year back and see the anomalies. This is the usual log of ArcSight. It's here just to show that it's here, right? <laughs> so again, getting back to why it's important to use simple methodologies in order to do complex stuff. When you use SQL, you use the same skill set that the users have in order to research the data. And when this SQL storage and analytics is scalable, then you achieve a lot without changing the infrastructure, without getting into a complex project, and without getting new knowledge into the organization that is not there. So it used to be very simple to do data with SQL Server. It, afterwards, it became very simple to do data with MySQL, and suddenly there's a tsunami of data. And the tsunami of data, it was great if you could use SQL to do the same thing as you did, but you can't. So you're, using, uh, you're moving to other technologies and you make a whole lot of complexity around a simple query that could be done with SQL. So the uh, advantage of, of using GPU technologies around uh, SQL um, analytics is the fact that you can scale to hundreds of terabytes without changing the logic and the way you query the data. And of course, because it's simple, it's a, it's a, it takes a very short time to implement into the organization and the users are, ha are happy, they don't need to move to something else and they don't feel threatened and it's, it's in their safe side. Uh, we got a boot here with a real project that's running there, so you can have a look at the, some cool stuff at uh, boot 242. And uh, we're looking forward uh, to meet more people to join our team or uh, to work with us. Thank you.